Welcome back, Awakened Intuitives. Welcome to any new Awakened Intuitives. Natalie here. I am back to finish a reading that I started over a week ago. Um, I got sick, so I need to come back and finish this. Um, it was on a woman um, found uh, deceased in Arches National Park, Utah, um, unidentified, um, unknown. Uh, I still don't even know if there are any updates at all, um, I got to dig even more into it after this and see if I can find anything, any updates at all. So if you did not watch part one, um, that will be in the description below. I recommend you watch that if you would like to. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps other like-minded awakened intuitives just find the channel. Um, that's all. And I just had to share the dahlias, a loved one cut for me yesterday because it's so cold out there, everything's gonna freeze. So we saved a red dahlia, this purple dahlia, and this white and pink one back here. And they're just beautiful. And uh, she actually cut them for my daughter, she's six years old. And I actually have a tattoo of a red dahlia with my dream catcher on my leg. So I just thought that was beautiful and so amazing. So I brought these out for that woman. Um, still don't know who she is, but we're going to finish with my questions and hopefully we'll find some more clarity. Um, I'm going to read just a little information on her, um, again, if you want to skip that, that is totally fine. The timestamps will be in the comments below if you want to skip to the reading. So feel free. I do have some 963 Hertz portal to heaven music playing in the background. I do not own the rights to. And so, um... I'm going to timestamp this now so I don't forget. And now let's do the little bit of information read for her. And uh, let's do that at 2, 10. Yes. Okay. So body of woman found in Arches National Park, Utah. Um, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. Truth is always stranger than fiction. Let me glow. Let you glow. Unconditional love. So be it. Anyway, um, on October 3rd, um, an investigation has been launched regarding the discovery of a woman who was found dead on Saturday, October 2nd in Arch Arches National Park. In an announcement made Sunday, the National Park Service revealed the park staff located a body in the Devil's Garden area. NPS opted not to give a specific location, and the announcement didn't say if the body was found on or near a trail. As of now, posted on October 3rd, um, no game, or sorry, no name or age has been provided, but it was confirmed that the body was a, a woman. Working with the Grand County Sheriff's Office, Park staff launched an investigation into the woman's death to discover whether foul play was involved or if it was accidental. The woman's body will be taken to the Utah Medical Examiner's Office where more information will be uncovered, which this was already done. Um, the Spectrum.com posts, the person's remains were found at around 6.45 p.m. The Devil's Garden Trail is a popular one that mendors, menders for more than seven miles through a large section of the park, passing many of its iconic red rock natural arches. The cause of death was still under investigation as of early Tuesday 4th. October 4th. Deaths are relatively rare at Arches compared to many other parks in the West. Statist statistics in a report published earlier this year saying that six deaths have been reported at Arches since records have been kept, including only two from falls. In 2019, two people fell to their deaths while hiking near the Delicate Arch in 2019. So this article will be in the description below if you want to check that out. And if I find any updates at all, I will post those in the description below as well, okay? So maybe that will lead me to another reading to more questions. So thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to begin with a blessing card. Um, it always helps with clues uh, for the reading, um, setting up for the uh, energy read, etc. So, oh, I need to timestamp this. Okay, so these are Angel Wisdom cards. I call them our Archangel Michael cards, um, knocking out any possible energy left behind. All of these decks will be listed in the description of the video, or in the video, in the description below, in order of the video. <laughs> How to get that right. Okay, can we get a general energy read, please, for this reading? We have self-worth. Uh, self Worth bestows a sense of confidence, expectation of success, and ability to love. 
Decide on clear boundaries and limits and firmly decline to let others step over them or manipulate you. You will earn respect. When you value yourself, you become open and friendly, slow to take offense and quick to forgive. Remind yourself that you are likable and lovable. Do not let others press your buttons. Stand tall and confident. Oh. With true self-worth, you radiate a golden aura which enfolds others and makes them feel good too. Ask your angel to step into your aura and guide you. Affirmation, I'm confident and worthwhile. This goes with what I was getting with the first reading. Very good with the, goes perfectly with it, with what I was getting. Okay, um, let's pull an Awakened Dreamer Oracle message. Can we get an Awakened Dreamer Oracle message? Just one, please. Okay, we have B, a way shower. She may have well been a way shower. Okay, um, I'm gonna write that down. I got that she was some kind of teacher. Some kind of teacher, I don't know. Okay, be a way shower. Contemplate the way you wish others would behave. Oh, oh my gosh. Then up level those qualities within yourself. Become a shining beacon amid a story sea, stormy sea. A lighthouse that gives hope to someone cut adrift. Revel in the joy of being a way shower. Wow. Oh, my sandalwood went out. Okay, and then I'm going to pull one more uh, from the Shaman Wisdom Oracle. Hopefully that'll go for a little longer. Can we get one more from the Shaman Wisdom Oracle, please? One more, please. That'll help this reading. We have number 52. Kept, kept getting the relationship thing, too. All right. 52 adds up to a seven relationships, okay? Obsidian, and we kept getting this masculine energy. We got Aries, uh, the emperor, divine masculine and male influence in the first reading. Okay, so masculine, fourth chakra, fire. Four is home, family, structure, stability, okay? And fire energy is Aries, okay? So 52. I am obsidian, I'm teacher stone. She was a teacher of some sort. Was she some kind of spiritual teacher? I got that. It may have been some kind of communication. Wow. Okay. I'm Teacher Stone. I'm here to teach you how to make positive changes in your life. Create good relationships with others, which will expand your inner growth and self-fulfillment. It is time to use your full potential. Go within, meditate, develop your psychic gifts. Use me as a divining mirror to uncover self-deception and hollow excuses. My power keeps out the unwanted and protects from misuse, outside interference, and energy draining situations. I'm prosperity. Okay. Um, yeah, I got that. She went to that spot for like type of meditation to get away, to think, etc. Wow, so I do want to get a tarot deck out and let's use, I think we should use the Wild Unknown Pocket Tarot first. Um, and let's ask, was she a way shower? It's an energy type healer. It's a, a, a type of spiritual healer teacher. Was she a way shower? Two of cups. Two is um, finances, material things, possessions. Two of cups. Cups is emotions and feelings. Two of cups is like a relationship. Again, we keep getting relationships. Um, it could be lovers, it could be husband and wife, it could be two cups, two energies mixing well. Okay. 
Um, was she a spiritual teacher? We have the world. She may have traveled. Okay. The world is earthly. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's Gaia, Mother Earth. Um, I got that. She was traveling to this place to meditate, etc. Um, and it can be fulfillment, completion, travel. Um, uh, uh, endings and beginnings. Let me get another deck. Let's do mystical dream. Let's ask again. Um, did she travel to the Arches National Park for some kind of um, meditation teacher type position? Lord of Wands. So that would be the King of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. Um, fire. Passion. Action. Um, and there's a snake. There's an elephant. Um, usually it reminds me of a sticky situation with the King of Wands. Um, but he's very action oriented. Took action. Um, always wins. May have an ego. Uh -huh. And there's a snake and the elephant is meditating and hovering in the sky, but there's a snake below it. There's a plane. I want to know, did she fly? Did she fly to go to the Arches National Park? Did she fly a plane? Whoa. Oh, we have five of cups. Okay, five can be changes, challenges, transformations, um, cups is emotions and feelings. Okay, so five of cups can be regretful and draining, uh, regretting, portal, black hole, feeling very defeated. Hmm, there's fish in the sky. And there's two people, a man and a woman, and they're separated by this big giant cup. Okay, let's move on. Was this a homicide? Was this a homicide, please? Was this a homicide, please? Now we have four of cups. We're counting down, five, four. You could add that up to a nine. Nine is higher learning, higher education, spirituality, and faith, uh, meditation. Um, nine of cups would be um, almost at your full 10 of cups. Uh, a lot of hard work is paying off. A wish heard to the universe can be overindulgence. But four of cups can be overlooking something, kind of ignoring something, not seeing something, not seeing the bright side of life. Um, not paying attention. Okay. How about this? Let's get another deck. Let's do the neon tarot. Are the authorities not seeing this? Are the authorities not seeing this then? Are the authorities not seeing this? We have seven of cups. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh. Um, seven of cups is fantasy world. It is dreamy like. It is head in the clouds. It's not in reality. So they're not seeing it. Okay, so let's ask. Do the authorities think this is an accidental death? Page of Wands. Pages can be young, immature energy or something new, an offer, an opportunity, 
um, something new. Wands is fire, passion, action. So a new action, a new passion, a new fiery energy, a new opportunity to take an action. Uh, it can also be another sticky situation. Hmm. Hmm, the authorities. Okay, that just fell. I'm going to get another deck. Hmm, I want the muse. And I know it feels like her energy. Okay. Um, was, she, was she on a trail? Was she on... I just seen the strength card. That would be Leo energy, fire energy, courage, strength, taming the beast, the lion and the lamb, beauty and the beast. Was she on a trail, found on a trail? Because they didn't say. So was she found on a trail? Nine of emotions, that's the nine of cups. Higher learning, um, higher education for the nine, spirituality, faith, meditation. Um, cups is emotions and feelings. Nine of emotions is that can be that overindulgence. It can be um, after all your hard work, you're almost at your full 10 of cups. You can take a break or wish her to the universe. She's meditating in the sky. Okay, was she off trail? Was she found off the trail? Off a trail? Yes, off trail. We have Ace of Voices, which is the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This is truth. This is balance, justice, court, law, but absolute truth and clarity. And there's an owl that reminds me of the watcher or a watcher. And she's not seeing the owl. Look at that. Okay. Was she meditating off trail? Was she meditating off trail? Was she meditating off trail? Was she meditating off trail, please? Ooh, 10 of voices. This is absolute betrayal. 10 swords in the back. 10 can be a no, but this is absolute betrayal. Um, I don't know if she was particularly meditating at that point, but there's an absolute betrayal off trail. That rhymes. Okay. 10 swords in the back, absolute betrayal. The worst betrayal ever. Okay, did something, okay. Did somebody come up behind her? Did somebody come up behind her and betray her? Did somebody come up behind her and betray her? Did somebody come up behind her and betray her? Four of emotions again. Four of cups again. Four is home, family, structure, stability. Could be from the home of family members of some sort. Just saying. All this information is for entertainment purposes only. This is overlooking overseeing something not seeing something it reminds me of that right there oh boy and it looks like she's kind of in her head and sad okay oh boy let's move on um will they be able to identify the woman will they be able to identify the woman three of inspiration three's Oh, look at the sun on the bottom. Look at that. Yes, and she's meditating. Okay, um, here's the three of inspiration. This is the three of wands. The domino is falling. Okay, so it's like kind of putting pieces of the puzzle together in a way, right? Um, this is planning, making plans, embarking and trading, taking action to make plans. And then domino is falling. Okay, and um, we have the sun. So that would be a big, huge yes. And she's meditating too. And uh, this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy as well. Yes, they will be to, able to identify the woman. I think they already have. I feel like they already have identified her. 
but I don't know if they've released that information. Um, let me get the Light Sears Tarot now. I just feel like she's so connected to these um, cards. It's by the same creator. Um, shoot, what's her name? I'll think of it. Okay. All right. Um, have they released that information yet of her identification? Have they released that information yet with her identity? Oh! Wow. One fell on the ground and it's the Empress. And number three. Remember, we just had that three, the sun, and a number three, okay? So the Empress is Mother Earth, Gaia, Gaia healing, um, Mother Nature, um, the Divine Feminine, a uh, female influence, a female figure. Um, it could be pregnant with an idea, pregnant with... Ooh. I just got to ask if she was pregnant. Oh boy, I really hope not. Was she pregnant? Was she pregnant? Was she pregnant? Was this woman pregnant? The Hierophant? Five. Um, that's Taurus energy. Okay, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and earthly sign. So is this, well, this is Taurus. Um, five is changes, challenges, transformations. The Hierophant can be some kind of spiritual leader, a teacher, again, okay? Um, it can be a self-enlightenment, spiritual awakening, conformity rules, establishments. It could be marriage and contracts as well. I kept getting the marriage thing and contract thing too. So I don't think she was pregnant. Okay. Anyway, um, was this woman harmed physically? Was this woman harmed physically before she was found? Three again. Okay. We have another three. And it's another three of wands. Okay. Um, so was this woman harmed physically? Three of wands is making plans. Taking action to make plans. Embarking and trading. Uh, fire, passion, action. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, were there plans for her to be hurt? Were there plans for her to be hurt? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Four of cups again. Four of cups again. Four home, family, structure, stability. Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, emotions and feelings. Not seeing something. Ignoring something. Overlooking something. Not seeing the bright side of life or not seeing the reality. I don't think she's seen this, but I think I think there may have been possibly a plan. Can I, was there a plan for her to be hurt? Was there a plan for her to be hurt that she did not see? Ten, ten of swords again. Betrayal. Uh, ten can be a no, but ten of swords is absolute betrayal. Ten swords in the back. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we got to move on. Um, let's use the Hermetic Tarot. If someone was involved in her death, did she know this person? Uh, look. First of all, was somebody involved with her death? Was somebody involved with her death? Oh, no, no. Ugh, another three, you guys. We kept getting the threes in the first reading too. Cooperation, commitment, contracts, teamwork. Teamwork. It could be three energies total. Okay, three of pentacles is cooperation, commitment, contracts, teamwork. It says Lord of material work. There's some kind of cooperation teamwork. Insane. Insane. Um, now, did she know this person? Again, I asked this in the first reading. I'm going to ask it again. Hmm. 
Did she know this person well? Did she know this person well? Or these people? Okay, okay, hold on here. Did she know this person or these people well? Did she know this person well or these people well? We have the high priestess. That's the number two of the major arcana. Two is material things, finances, um, possessions. Um, the high priestess is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It says the priestess of the silver star. Uh, the high priestess is she who knows but doesn't speak. She keeps things to herself. She can have psychic vision. Um, she can get downloads. Um, she holds the key. She holds the information and the knowledge or the book. Did she know these, this person, but never spoke of them? Did she know this person, but never spoke of them? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We have an ace of pentacles. Pentacles is towards Virgo Capricorn, earthly, finances, material things, possessions. Ace is a yes. And it says, Lord of the root of the powers of earth. I think she knew this person, but never spoke of this person. That ain't good. That ain't, that ain't good at all. Okay, how about this? Let's get, ah, a card fell out. I was going to ask, I don't know what it is yet. I was going to ask, did she like marry this person in privately or like in private? Nine of swords. Nine is higher learning, higher education, spirituality, faith, med meditation. Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, words, communication. Lord of despair and cruelty. Nine of swords can be dark night of the soul. It can be insomnia, can't eat, sleep, think. Um, we got that with her energy um, in the first reading as well. Um, can't eat, sleep, think, maybe even speak because of the words. Okay, now let's get another deck. Um, let's do the Revelations Tarot. Oh gosh. Okay, how about this? Did she marry this a person that she could not speak of or about? Did she like marry this person that she couldn't like speak of or speak about? Whoa. Okay, we have an eight of pentacles. Eight is death, rebirth, changes, transformation, endings and beginnings. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles is the job card. It's the working card, the mastering, the creating, um, working a job. And then we have a 10 of cups. 10 can be a no. Um, 10 can be fulfillment completion. Uh, cups is emotions and feelings. 10 of cups is your most financial or emotional abundant life. Finances too, possibly. Um, so it's like a job with um, some happiness some kind of work to keep a happiness, um, your abundant life. Okay. Was, did she have to work hard to keep like her abundance? Did she have to work hard to keep her abundance hidden? We have a six of pentacles. Six is divine health, wellness, daily routines, boundaries. Pentacles is that earthly uh, sign. Um, six of pentacles is generosity, giving to two. It can be gifts. Giving to two. Giving to two energies. Okay, we have to move on with my questions that I wrote down. Gosh. 
Was this woman married? Oh, that's funny. Was this woman married? We have the devil. We got the devil in the first reading, I believe. The devil's Capricorn energy, earthly sign, okay? The devil is negative outside influence. It can be strings attached, attachment possessive, okay? So I wanna ask, was she married to somebody possessive? Was she married to somebody possessive? Three. Was she involved with two people? Three of cups, three energies, celebration, um, three energies, mingling, partying, hanging out. Okay, was she involved with two people? Okay, so when I asked, was she involved with two people, my uh, video stopped and it was because I forgot to delete my last really long video because of the storage. Anyway, was she involved with two people? We have a six of wands. That is success, victory, spotlight on the stage. This is a big yes for me. Six is divine health, wellness, daily routines, boundaries. Wands is fire, passion, action, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, but this is a big yes for me. I'm going to get another deck. What in the world? Let's do the crystal visions tarot. Were, were these two people involved with her death? Were these two people involved with her death? I seen that shuffling. We have four swords. That is laid to rest. Four, home, family, structure, stability. Swords is words, communication, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. This is laid to rest. It could be resting after battle, taking a time out before getting back up and fighting again. But this is laid to rest. Wow. Did this woman have any children? Did this woman have any children? Eight of wands. Eight is death, rebirth, changes, transformation. Wands is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, fire, passion, action. Eight of wands is very swift and quick. Swiftness, quickness, possible communication. Very swift, quick communication coming in. Did she communicate? quickly about wanting children did she communicate somehow about wanting children five of swords oh boy five is changes challenges conflict um swords is words communication she's stabbed in the back okay and he's walking away and there's two swords in her back okay um five of swords is winning at all cost it can be defeat. It can be uh, not caring what what the consequences are and just winning. And um, it can be alienating those around you, not letting others in mentally or at all. But there's two swords in her freaking back. I got to ask again from this deck. Did two people hurt her? Did two people hurt her? Two. Did two people hurt her? Oh my gosh. We have ten of swords again. This is absolute betrayal. Ten swords in the back. She was betrayed somehow. Um, can I get a confirmation card for that Ten of Swords? Did two people betray her, hurt her? Ace. That would be a yes. Wands. And this is a male 
uh, energy, wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, fire, passion, action. Ace of wands is a yes. This is beginning to take a new action and new passion. Um, waving the magic wand. Um, manifesting. But this is a yes. Absolute betrayal. Yes. Two swords in the back right there. Absolute betrayal. And a yes. Oh my gosh. Was this woman under 50 years old? Was this woman under... Oh, under 50 years old. I just found a ring. This is my daughter's ring. Look, three stones in the ring and they're blue. Um, was this woman under 50 years old? We have seven of wands. Um, seven is relationships. I keep getting the wands too. Um, passion, action, fire. So seven of wands is very defensiveness. It can be standing up, standing tall. We got that in the Oracle messages, standing up for yourself, standing up for your beliefs can be putting up a bubble around yourself to protect yourself how far you've come uh everything about you and um, but very defensive seven putting up that shield did she shield her age And we'll do shadowscapes tarot did she shield her energy did she shield her in her i mean not energy sorry did she shield her age her true age or something did she shield her true age or something queen of swords Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. She's all about truth and justice and balance. She'll cut out any nonsense. She welds that true sword. And she protects her emotions too. She may have concealed or shielded her real age. But was she around 30 years old? Was she around 30 years old? We have 10 of cups, 10 could be a no, but we also have judgment. Judgment is absolutely yes, okay? 10 of cups is your most happy, abundant life. Um, you know what, around 30 years old, you're like, you're usually um, a good age of accomplishing a lot in life and doing a lot of things and achieved a lot of things and all that, right? So that would make sense. And then the judgment would be a huge yes. It could be a judgment call, made a decision, trumpets blowing, a big, big yes. I think she may have been around 30 years old. Okay, let's move on. Um, what was her situation like right before her death? What was her situation like right before her death, please? Ooh, that almost bent. Can't do that, sorry. What was her situation like right before her death? Oh. Ace of Cups. That is a self cup of love. Taking a self cup of love. Looking out for yourself. Heart chakra, heart healing, heart center, purity of the heart. Um, taking a cup of love for yourself. Um, was she afraid right before her death? Was she afraid right before her death? We have death. Wow. That Scorpio energy, a number. Oh, my son's calling. Okay. So we have death. Was she afraid? Right. Was she afraid? Oh, you slow down lady. Oh, I've got signs out there. Sorry, but I have signs out there saying surveillance. I have two cameras up. Slow down. Children exiting. I have a little kid 
like a three foot kid sign with a flag and I put it like almost in the middle of the road so they'd slow the heck down and we have a gate that's halfway closed and they still go freaking fast. It pisses me off. People are so freaking ignorant with kids and we have a dirt road. You cannot slow down on dirt. If you slam on your brakes, you're gonna slide on that dirt, the rocks. Like it pisses me off. I'm about to call the police. <laughs> like it is no joke. People do not give a damn. Anyway, so, <laughs> um, we have death. Um, it looks like a phoenix soaring, um, kind of, it looks like taking charge and owning its power. Okay. Was this location where she was found? Devil's Garden, where... Was this location where she was found, where she died? Okay, this, this spot where she was found, was that where she died? Was that where she died? All, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Was that where she died? Six of swords. That is not where she passed away. No. This is moving out of troubled waters to a more calmer ground travel. She's riding the swan. No, that's not where she died. I'm going to get another deck. Oh, I'm going to do the wild unknown archetypes. It's more of an oracle, but it's usually really spot on. Okay. So, was, was she brought to that spot and... Sorry, but dumped there. Was she brought to that spot where they set her there? Like, oof, was she was she traveled, brought there to that spot and just left uh, the body? Okay, what the heck? Wow, we have the king. That reminds me of the emperor energy, a male influence. Okay. We need this, and it reminds me of the sun almost. Um, where is our book? There it is. Was she traveled, brought to that spot, and left there? So X I I. Woo! Oh come on. X I I. Where would it be? Here we go. The king. The ruler, the commander, the emperor. There you go. Brought to that spot by the freaking emperor and male influence. It says benevolence, divine leadership, service, nobility. But um, I don't think that was the case. It says, if our lives are imagined as a kingdom containing the entire spectrum of human experience, the king presides over it all. Through the lens of the king, we assess the state of our land. Ah, make decisions and rule accordingly. Therefore, the king must be thoroughly and re regularly vetted so to, as to avoid corruption. Recognize the dual nature of the king. He is either seated in benevolence and strength, guiding you toward peace, or he is oppressing the weak out of a need to control. There is not much middle ground. Ha! Some think of the king as the ultimate expression of the ego, yet the great kings of mythology and history serve from an egoist place. They take their throne with grace and humility, knowing the divine uses them as a channel to heal deep and long-standing discrepancies in the kingdom. When dark, oppression, misuse of power, corruption. Once a king's relationship to divinity is broken or challenged, he often acts from a place of fear, scrambling to uphold his image and power. And it says, the king is necessary. He is a bridge between the eternal and the day-to-day. -day. It is also said that it is necessary for the king to die. This is the death of ego. I think she was brought there by that Aries energy, a male influence, some kind of masculine energy. Um, was she moved to this location after her death? We got that, yes, okay. Was she h hiking? No, because we got she was moved there. Um, was this location specifically chosen? Let's do Tarot of the Divine because it's called Devil's Garden and it just is odd. 
was she moved to this location um, specifically uh, wow what did I just say was this location specifically chosen of, for some reason yes the magician absolutely aquarius gemini libra energy the magician is an absolute big yes it's the number one of the major arcana the magician is magic manifesting creating mastering it can be also dark magic it can be um the magician also it is the godmother here with the waving of the wand um and there's three mice and october pumpkins she was found in the beginning of October. Uh, so the location was specifically chosen. Was it some kind of ritual thing? Was it, I'm sorry, but was it some kind of ritual thing? Again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Was it some kind of ritual thing? That's why it was chosen. I seen that. That was on the very bottom of the deck when I first started shuffling. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, there's a spider's web, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I want this guidebook. But it is um, fate, destiny, cycling through karmic lessons. Um, let's see. The wheel turning, fortune, money. And it says Anasazi Ghana Akan Mythology. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is endlessly turning, spun by a trickster god. What was once luck is now misfortune. What was hopeless is now joyous. These acts may seem random, but all fates are part of an interconnected web of repercussions. Fortune, unexpected, an unexpected windfall, karma, destiny, cycles. Um, wow. Was it some kind of ritualistic practice we have this three of coins three of pentacles three again it's cooperation commitment contracts teamwork there's two monsters behind her and she doesn't see them did two energies come up behind her and chase her down what the heck this is so weird Four of Wands, home, family, structure, stability. Solid foundation structure. Oh my gosh. All right. Ugh. Okay. Was she in the Arches National Park area and they knew about it or something? Was she in the Arches National Park area to get away and someone or somebody or some someone or people knew she was there was it known that she was there by one or two people that she was in that area two of swords two people two energies two of swords is like crossroads feeling blindfold about decisions but two Was she followed to that Arches National Park area? Was she followed? Two. Two coins, two pentacles, juggling imbalance, trying to balance. Oh my gosh. Was she followed? Let's see. Did she drive herself no, I got that she was taking taken to that exact spot, the Devil's Garden. <sighs> was this location specifically chosen to take her life? <sighs> was her life taken there at that spot where she was found? Was her life taking taken there, taken away when she was at that exact spot? Was her life taken away there where she was found? 
was her life taken there at that exact spot where she was found. Six of coins, okay? That is six of pentacles. That is generosity, gifts, and giving to two. I want to read that. The woman who was kind to insects. Alaska, Inuit fable. The six of coins represents kindness and generosity to those less fortunate. The old woman from this Inuit tale understands the need to put positivity positivity into the world in order to receive it back the pay it forward mythology 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 of karma generosity charity kindness value and reward man i'm gonna ask a couple more questions and then i think i'm done with this reading um, I may just come back for more easy tarot. Can you tell me why her life was taken? Please. Can you tell me why her life was taken? Judgment. Her life was absolutely taken. This is judgment call, trumpets blowing, made a decision, and a yes. Somebody made a decision. I don't know what else to ask right now. Um... Um, was she chased? Was she chased? Was she, whoa. Was she chased? Nine of pentacles. Nine is higher learning, higher education, meditation, spirituality, faith. Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an earthly sign. Possessions, finances, material things. Nine of pentacles is... A single independent energy. She may have been a very single independent energy. Okay. Um, she could be the money maker, the bread breadwinner of the home. There's a butterfly. There's a few butterflies, three butterflies. And it's like a parrot with a helmet on. Hmm. Um, did, did, was she, did somebody or people come up behind her and hurt her? Like, surprise her and hit her? The star and four swords. The star is Aquarius energy. This can be vulnerability. She could have been very vulnerable at some point. Um, she's in the river, um, getting the water out of the river. This can be uh, dreams coming true, um, channeling, but this is vulnerability. And then we have a four swords laid to rest. She was vulnerable and laid to rest. Okay. Um... I think that's it, you guys. I think I need to come back. I think I need to come back to finish, uh, see if I can find any updates. Um, I'm gonna pull a couple Oracle messages. Uh, let's do the Beyond Lemuria. Can we get an Oracle message for this woman and her case, please? Can we get any Oracle messages for this? woman in her case please we have the violet flame and guess what it's a 52 you add that up to a seven relationships the violet flame i want this guidebook though your psychic toolkit recentering practices 
deepening your energetic awareness, clearing your aura, healthy energetic boundaries, protection, removing trauma from your field, maintaining a high vibration, rebalancing after times of raised frequency. Okay. And then let's do one more. Oh boy. I need to find some other <laughs> holder or something for my guidebooks. And I feel called to use Gateway of Light Activation. I don't know why, but I get that vibe from her. Um, uh, I don't know. Can I get one more Oracle message for this woman and her case? Thoth Light Codes. Interesting. I need this guidebook. Oh, messy stuff. It says light initiation. <laughs> Great teacher. Awakening. She was some kind of teacher. Divine magic. Thought, oh, I just went right to it. Thoth light codes. Thoth, pronounced Toth. Well, not for me. <laughs> also known as Tehuti is the ancient Egyptian ibis-headed god of writing, divine magic, and the moon. Acknowledged as a sacred scribe who created writing, he is considered to be the great mind behind the hieroglyphics and the maintainer of the Egyptian universe. It is said he was a priest king of Atlantis and was dedicated to leading the Atlantean people in a loving way that was firm but fair. However... No matter how hard he tried to direct them, many of them didn't obey the spiritual laws of the universe, which inevitably led to the end of their civilization. This gateway takes you to a space where you can connect with the energetic frequency that Thoth carries. As a master teacher of the stars, we just had the star card, right? Sorry. More vehicles, but they went slow. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, as a master teacher of the stars, he holds space for you to connect with some of your greatest gifts from this lifetime and the many others you've lived. Thoth's primary teaching is spiritual integrity, and he's working alongside a powerful congregation of evolved souls, the ascended Atlanteans, to guide those who are ready to increase their awareness. He specializes in helping those who are finding it difficult to make spiritual progress to rise above the aspects of their life that are holding them back, and he helps them awaken the teacher within. Connect, chant, Tehuti, 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 until you feel a shift in the energy around you. Then say, Thoth, great priest, king of Atlantis, and divine scribe of ancient Egypt, thank you for initiating and awakening the great teacher within me. Your message, you're blessed to connect with Thoth. You are going through a powerful set of light initiations at this time, and these are preparing you to lead a, and teach from a powerful place, space of love. Sorry. In order to complete the process, there will be a release of old ideas and limiting stories, but this is necessary for you to connect with the true power within you. Uh, don't be concerned by the intensity of the energies that surround you right now. Facing shadow parts of yourself in your story is essential for connecting with divine magic, and evolved beings of light are there to lead the way. If you have any concerns or fears at this time, know that when fear gets loud, it's because you're on the cusp of something, of something extremely powerful. All right, you guys. That is the end of the unidentified woman found in Arches National Park, Utah. Um, and, um, and I'm going to see if I can find any updates on this woman. And if I do, it'll be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. Um, and I just thank you guys so much. Again, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. Um, truth is always stranger than fiction. Let me glow. Let you glow. And unconditional love, so be it. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Thank you so much. I hope so. Anyway, all right. Bye.